And there you see Archie Wea, nicknamed the Refugee, born in Liberia, grew up in Staten Island, New York, now living and working in Atlanta, Georgia. He comes in and he takes on Golden Boy's newest signee, Oscar Duarte from Parral, Chihuahua, Mexico. And Doug, the last time we saw him, he came in as an opponent on two days notice, had to lose some weight, and he upset a highly touted amateur prospect. Yeah, he dropped an outpointed favorite Alejandro Salinas, who was uh, also 3-0 uh, from Youngstown, Ohio, trained by Jack Lowe, who developed and trained uh, former middleweight champ Kelly Pavlik. And these guys went toe-to-toe. -to -toe. You can see here in the highlights, two young men uh, who never tasted defeat as professionals going to the head and body, and it was Duarte who got the slight better of his opponent, and um, he, he wasn't expected to, particularly coming in last minute. I mean, two days' notice. And coming into the ring is a Parral Chihuahua, Mexico, 20-year-old Oscar Duarte. His first fight under the Golden Boy banner. at about 68 amateur fights. A, an engineering student at the, I'm gonna try to say this, my Spanish is good, but it ain't this good. Universidad Autonoma de Chihuahua. I think I got that right. Rosetta Stone is starting to pay off, Dougie. Yeah, that sounded right. It sounded right. Yeah. Yeah. Randy, you know what language Doug speaks, right? No, he don't speak he English, speak? he don't speak Spanish, he speaks? Boxeo. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> this is our second fight of the night. There's Four more after this. It's all working towards the main event of Diego de la Hoya. So ring announcer. The super lightweight division. Introducing okay. the first fighting out of the blue corner. When he's with drums trimmed in orange and white, he wins officially 139 and one half pounds. He entered the ring tonight for the sixth time as a professional. Originally from Liberia, Africa, now fighting out of Norcross, Georgia, here is the refugee, Archie Wea! And across the ring stands his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, wearing burgundy trunks. He weighed in 139 and one half pounds. In four bouts, he is undefeated with three wins, no losses, one draw, two coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of Parral, Mexico, here is the undefeated Oscar Duarte. And your referee in charge of the action, David Mendoza. Oscar. Should have taken that thing off right there. Let me take that thing off. Gentlemen, we've gone over the rules in the files. Protect yourself at all times and follow my instructions, all right? Touch gloves, return to your corner. Good luck. And let's look at the tail of the tape between Duarte and Wea. Duarte is 10 years younger at age 20. They have the same height, both are five foot nine. And Duarte enjoys a very slight reach advantage. Oscar Duarte came to Los Angeles his first time ever, two days notice, jumped on a plane, had nobody with him. He just had, he was actually tagging along to another fighter who was fighting here at Golden Boy. Jumped in, said, We'll take the fight last minute notice. Goes home, they call him back and say, We're going to sign you to a contract because if you could t t do that with two days' notice, what imagine what we can do with you when we actually give you notice and training and fight at your weight. Oscar Duarte came into this fight weighing 139. Archie, we are 140. They agreed to 140. We are one and four in his career. We talk about a fighter who came in alone, took this fight a couple days ago, and has no corner because his trainer is working with other fighters. And you know, Doug, as you told me, the trainer goes with whoever signs first, whoever has that fight, that's where you're at. His trainer is working with a bunch of amateurs right now, the big competition. We are looking around for a corner, literally. Who can be my trainer? Who can be my cut man? Who can be my second? This is. Have you taught me, Doug, the journeyman, the, the backbones of yeah, boxing? Yeah, it's, it's not uncommon to uh, travel solo and um, pick up your trainer and, uh, and, and cut man uh, whenever you get to the venue where you fight, or maybe at the weigh-in you find somebody. Archie Wea ran track at Morehouse in Georgia, the 100 and 200. 
was a soccer player in high school. He started boxing. What did he tell us, Doug, at 26? Yeah, it was after his mother passed away, and he was in a real bad place and, and found a boxing gym and kind of worked through um, a, an emotional time for him and, and kind of fell in love with the sport. And you can see the athleticism. He's, he's, he's very quick. He's agile in there, moves around well, as you would expect a sprinter. Oh, oh and he gets dropped by a big right wow. from Oscar Duarte. Sends the mouthpiece flying. Woo, the big hammer from Chihuahua. Oscar Duarte. That right, right hand was, was his yeah. first punch. Yeah, 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 that was that the was first punch. First right, first right, right hand of, of, of note that he threw in the clock. The stop to get that mouthpiece out. Uh, the first punch that Duarte really throws. And I think he caught Wea on the on the fly. Boom. Wow. That's a highlight real knockdown. Good job getting that replay quick. Wea oh. has a smirk on his face. Better cover up right now because Duarte is not messing around. Right hand, body work. Left hand again from Duarte, that 20-year-old as a Chihuahua. Drops Wea, knocks that mouthpiece out with a big right hand. Another strong right sends him into the ropes. We are trying to hold wait, on. Wait, wait. The Golden Boy matchmaker, Rob Diaz, said he was excited about Duarte. He said he saw something in him in his last fight. And we are, it's feeling what he saw. Body work. We are with his hands down. I thought the body work was the, the real difference in his uh, fight against Salinas. Um, he's, hook. he's showing uh, some a, a lot of power uh, with his headshots in this fight, particularly. The, uh, the right hand. Final seconds of the opening round. A big punch from Oscar Duarte drops Wea. And Wea survives. We go to the second. Let's see what the matchmaker Roberto Diaz had to say about young Oscar Duarte. Oscar Duarte is a great story. He's, uh, he's a kid that came in on two days' notice against a kid who was 3-0 with three knockouts. Nobody wanted to fight. Normally, when you, you, you have a kid like that, especially on short notice, nobody wants to fight a guy with 100% knockout ratio. Um, this kid, you know, uh, Razo got in contact with them, came in two days' notice. Got to lose, like, nine pounds. Comes in and spoils the other kid, who had tremendous amateur credentials and, and was off to a great start. And, of course, it's the, ca the kind of kid that you want that's willing to take on challenges. 20 years old, an engineer. He's going to school to become an engineer. Um, he first fight out here, he was on the B side. He was in the uh, B side, yet he won over the crowd. I mean, I remember the crowd, Wero, Wero, Blondie, Blondie, you know, because he has the blonde hair. So it was, it was a no-brainer. And I'm excited to see him back now on TV. Matchmaker Roberto Diaz talking about their new signee, Oscar Duarte. Oscar Duarte, saludos a Pepe Gomez desde Cancun Boxing, que nos está mirando ahorita. Matchmaker Memo Ochoa, Pepe Gomez, you know, Doug with Cancun Boxing down there, watching this fight. Agradecido todo lo que hacen ustedes con Golden Boy in Cancun y en México, a promoter that Golden Boy works with closely to put on some shows in Mexico. And the keki that is on the trunks of Oscar Duarte is the company. That Pepe right. Gomez runs. I see. Yeah, they, 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 he puts on a good show. It's a, it's a very good fight series that he has done. Yeah, so we talked with Duarte. The last time you came here, you had one person. You come back to the United States, dream comes true, you get a, a promoter, a manager, and a corner. <laughs> <laughs> Luxuries. And you win, right, Randy? You, people want to be around you when you win. Oh, definitely they do. And you can see how... Duarte, why they signed Duarte, why Golden Boy signed him, because he's a very strong, composed fighter, only fighting four rounds, and he's really, I think, you know, he's going to do very good with only with only four fights. And he's fighting heavier than he normally does. He yeah. usually would fight between uh, 130 and 135 pounds. He's up at junior welterweight to accommodate the weight of the, uh, the last-minute uh, opponent. Oh, definitely. He's really good. I want to see what he can do when, you know, going back down in that weight class and I, I can imagine hurting those guys at that weight. Yeah, but I tell you what, he looks he looks solid and he looks good at uh, weighing uh, uh, 139 and a half pounds. There are going to be natural comparisons to Canelo Alvarez because he's a ginger Mexican. Definitely will Kind of similar hair, even you know similar body type. You know the the big thighs and, and uh, broad chest and all. Um, and I 
I can see that. I mean, I can see the, the, with the heavy hands and his punch selection, it does kind of remind me of a young Alvarez. Right. Oh, definitely. To get, you know, recognized like that, to be amongst, be called someone as a great fighter that Canelo is, you know, that, that's something I would, yeah, any fighter would dream about. Yeah, it doesn't hurt. <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> it's not a bad thing. <laughs> Archie Wheel went down hard in the first round, got his legs back here in the second. Oscar Duarte eats a right, but he pushes Wea back into the corner. Body work from Duarte. We are a business security analyst for Blue Line in Georgia. They, his bosses are fans of his. They gave him the time off to come out here and fight in California. Last minute notice, he had to lose eight pounds to make 140. Where Duarte was already at 133 when the opponent dropped out, so he had the luxury of being able to eat and go up. A couple of rights landed by Wea. Number two, scheduled for four in LA. A representative came to my school talking about the different programs and information security. We was one family, friends. But the best part about graduation day was when I got to announce to my family that I had gotten the job. For some, school is a backup plan. But for me, it was the only plan. And I ended up choosing ITT Tech over other four-year institutions. Scholarships and financial aid are available for students who qualify. Call 800-227-2162. That's 800-227-2162. And Ring TV Live is brought to you by ITT Technical Institute, ITT Tech Education for the Future. Call today at 800-227-2162. Find out more info and to schedule a free campus tour, 800-227-2162. We're in the third round. And of course, hello to our favorite CHP officer friends in the Valley, Luis Arraga, as entire department. From Nochislan, Zacatecas, y a todos los que están mirando en México sobre Yip TV. Muy agradecidos esta noche on ringtvlive.com. You're watching Oscar Duarte from Parral, Chihuahua, with two strong rounds. How do you see the first two, Randy? You know what? I see uh, Duarte winning the fight. Clear. You know, he's very strong, composed, you know, sits down on his punches as we were talking about the last fight. You know, he... he watches his punches. When he sees an open, he lets it go. And I like the way he, he works the body and it comes out on top. It confuses a lot of fighters when you mix up your punches, not just throwing the same thing over and over. You know, he throws to the bottom, goes to the top, top to bottom, and he, he switches it up a lot. But he's thinking in there. He's oh, just definitely. not moving his hands. very smart in there. I'm impressed with William. I'm surprised he's still around. Oh, definitely. <laughs> with those those hard punches that uh, Duarte is throwing, he's surprised he's hanging in there. He's got a lot of spirit to get up from that knockdown in the first round. I mean, that was a highlight reel knockdown. Dislodged his mouthpiece. He got up and, and survived the round, and uh, took a lot of punishment in round two, but also fired back a little bit. We saw some right hands to the body uh, towards the tail end of round two. Yeah, that wasn't a let me spit out the mouthpiece to get some time. No, <laughs> that, it, 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 it was dislodged. <laughs> it was punched out of his skull. Right hand from Weir Duarte right there. smiles in there he's got that attitude uh, that would probably get to some young fighters but uh, this Duarte kid just age 20 though he seems um, he seems uh, mature a little bit beyond his years oh definitely you know like I said he only has four fights and he looks very mature inside there we his last fight he was stopped in third by Devante Jones in November we has been busy lately he has a newborn Avery congratulations to him and his fiance but right now, he's in a tough one against Oscar Duarte. This is another one where Golden Boy, the, the more I work with you, the more you teach me about how you have these young kids that they're really high on, but they're not giving them just pushovers. Because we, uh, granted, he had to lose weight and get here in the last couple minutes, two days notice to get here. But this is a dude who is tough. Yeah, and he's, you know, he's, he's got some athleticism. He's not, I mean, he has a losing record. He's clearly the opponent. He's clearly a journeyman. He's got a one and four record. But he does have some ability in there. It's not like he doesn't know how to punch. He's got decent technique. Um, he's fast. And obviously, he's got heart and spirit in there. I mean, he's, he's taunting this guy who has hurt him, who has put him down. Um, and that, that can rattle a, a lot of young fighters. And that's what you want. You want to test him in these ways. Like they say, never take any fighter for granted. One punch can change the whole fight. Final seconds of the third round. Oscar Duarte in the red, looking good at the LA Fight Club in downtown.
fourth and final round, the Belasco Theater. There you see Oscar Duarte desde Parral, Chihuahua, Mexico. And the fourth round is brought to you by Yip TV. Watch live TV from around the globe, including live Golden Boy fights. Sign up today at YipTV.com. We do appreciate the tweets that we get from Yip TV and all the support for Golden Boy Boxing on Ring TV Live. The fourth and final round. Uh, Wheel was dropped hard in the first round, he survived three rounds. Doug's technicality, how do you have it after three? Yeah, I, I have uh, three to zip for Duarte. Complete control. He's the man landing the, the, the right, right. telling punches. Randy, since it's your first time on, on a broadcast, we're not gonna ask you to score in your head, so just tell me, how do you have it after three? I have Duarte winning every single round, very clear. And um, you know, Wells giving giving them a uh, uh, hanging in there, taking every punch that he throws. No, Golden Boy knows how to put their fights together and uh, not you know put fighters in there that are just pushovers that are they're just gonna walk over. Someone's gonna test them and, and show their abilities what they have inside the ring, and that's what this fight is here. You know, Duarte is winning every single round, but like I said, Wells giving them you know not making it easy for him. And what you're saying is you're saying Duarte's strengths, which obviously is his physical strength. Um, it's his his, uh, his punch accuracy, uh, but he's also he's obviously in good condition. He's working very hard. He doesn't look gassed here in the fourth round. Um, but you see, he's not, he's not exactly cutting the ring off as we uh, utilizes some lateral movement. It makes you think maybe maybe down the line, if he's in with a, a, a more experienced fighter, a fighter you know with better preparation with Wea's style, with, you know, tall, rangy, very fast with, you know, straight jabs and rights that utilizes a lot of lateral movement, it could give him trouble. Oh, definitely. Someone with, with a lot more experience will see something like that. You know, not cutting the ring is something you need to do. You need to cut the ring at all times. You know, that'll, that'll put a, a fighter in the ropes and, and keep him there. And uh, I, I'm not saying that Duarte has slow feet either. No, no, I'm not just at saying all, not he, at all. He's, he's kind of following Wea. He doesn't, he doesn't step. He doesn't block Take him off to with get in front right, of him. exactly. Saludos a todos los que están mirando en la Ciudad de México, también en Guadalajara. We're getting tweets from Mexico City, Guadalajara, Doug, and also a los que están en Villa López, Chihuahua. Thank you for joining us tonight. We're going international, Douglas Fisher. That's how we do it. <laughs> 40 seconds to go in the fight for Oscar Duarte, and this is a fight for Duarte where he had no clue who his opponent was, and he goes up against a man. He said this is the oldest person he's ever fought, and Randy, that goes back to something we've talked about in the first fight. A young fighter going up against a man with man strength. Left hook landed by Duarte. He does have that left, doesn't he? He does, and he, he found it. He was having trouble landing it because we was holding him and blocking in a certain way, and he just found the right combination, the, the right angle to land that left, and you want to see that. Sometimes it takes a Final couple second. rounds to catch that right, oh, sorry about right that. way to throw the punches. Finish it, Randy, finish it. We got five seconds to go. I'm over here stepping on your toes. You're and used to that. It's great like a southpaw fight, stepping fight. on you. We're done with four. Duarte and Wea will come back with a decision on LA Fight Club. Back inside the Belasco Theater. It is a cool venue. There you see Oscar Duarte with his team. Memo Ochoa, the matchmaker for Cancun Boxing. He knows where the camera's at. And yes, <laughs> it is a nightclub. And yes, the ring is on the dance floor. Here's Joe Martinez. As we go to the judges' scorecards, here are the totals. Hey, hey. Both Fernando Villarreal and Zachary Young have it 40 to 35. Judge Timothy Hicks, 39 36. For your winner by unanimous decision. And still undefeated, Oscar Duarte. Good four rounds. Oscar the one to improve the 4 0 and 1. Archie Wea, a game fighter with a lot of heart. Last minute trip to California, not the way he wanted it, but he goes solid four rounds. A little, and let's look at the highlights from the first round. And the first round is what Oscar Duarte really woke up the crowd here at the Belasco. Wow. He's, he lets people know this is why you want to tune in to watch me fight. Because <laughs> I will drop a bomb like that on a moving target. Look at that. That's the gap band? I dropped the bomb on you? Yeah, I yeah. dropped the bomb on you, <laughs> baby. Bam. There it is. Yeah, I didn't think he was going to get up after that punch. Oh, my goodness, Randy. Man. 
as Oscar Duarte is working his way over here.